Hey there. I thought now that I'm done doing the Spellbound Caves tour and have all those uploaded, I would show you what I've been up to in Mom's world, also in Mom's world. I've uh, built a little zombie XP, uh, what do you call these, farm. Used a uh, plan done by Casper, and I will put that in the, uh, I will put that in the description so you guys can check it out if you want. I also used some uh, parts from uh, when Vex did his developer commentary, uh, he talked about adding a half slab to help them go up the, the little uh, water ladder. So I used that too, so I'll put a description to that one also. <laughs> I had to, uh, I had to make them a little carport, little shade the thing here because they kept burning up in the daytime. I love this part here. I can come here and just watch them as they float up and go over to the other end. <laughs> I think I'm using the, uh, it's called Mine Wars uh, texture pack so it makes you look like uh, Star Wars. Let's see if you can <laughs> See what I look like. Or I'm in my stormtrooper armor outfit. So, okay, it looks like since I'm a little far away from them, they're starting to slow down their spawn. Oh, look, a helmet. And then I'll show you. I'll come out here. Glass area, a skeleton. I have a glass area here, just a bag here. And that's what it looks like inside. Okay. You can see the spawner is hanging in midair, so they they spawn off the water. Pushes them over there. There's a, a chute that goes up to the, the surface, and inside that chute at the bottom, I put that half slab to help them kind of go up there and get caught up in the water. What I liked about uh, Casper's plan, I mean, a lot of people have you know, do the same plan, but he he actually included a like a diagram link to a diagram, which I liked a lot because I'm one of those people where they can tell me a million times what it is I'm supposed to do, but um, I need to see it too. It really helped to, to actually see it on paper. Okay, this will work. So yeah, there's the window to watch them as they fall down to their doom. I hear them. I'll see if anybody comes down the chute. That's pretty. Yep, there goes one. <laughs> I like it. So that's what I've been up to in this world. And then I will show you what I've been up to. And I got the doors right there. Oh, spider, are you in my way? Okay. Yeah, so this way I can come in here, even if the mobs are out at night, and watch the zombies come up. And in the daytime, they won't burn up because I've got this overhang on top of it. So I want to switch over to my other world and show you what I have found over there. Yeah, I've uh, added to the village. I built that forge like we were talking about. Uh, started their little farm. Oh, their little farm area. Uh, I like this texture pack. I'm a big Star Wars fan. And uh, their 
there's the two uh, the two suns and at night you get to see the Death Star up in the sky. So I will be I'm gonna switch over to the other world and then I'll be right back with you. Ooh, that is pretty. Let's go out here and look at that better. That's nice. Very pretty sunset. And the sunrise is even prettier. Yeah. See, is the moon coming out yet? Eh, not yet. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. So anyway, you might say, hey, that doesn't look like your village, and you would be correct. I uh, took a little trip across the desert and found this village here which is, um, I don't think it's quite as big, yeah, little kids, I don't think it's quite as big as the other village was that I found, but uh, it's almost as big. It has the, you know, the little church building, a <laughs> um, bunch of smaller houses. I don't know if it has a library house or not. It's got that one with the porch. Uh, let's see, library building? No, I think it's all pretty much small buildings. Oh, there's the golem over there. He looks pretty cool in the in the Mine Wars texture pack. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, look at him. Cool, huh? And let's see, and then down here there's a... I think it's a dungeon. I think I saw green mossy cobble. Did I see it? Hmm, maybe not. Oh, oh, well, thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, see? Green mossy cobble. So, evidently, there's a spawner down there. I haven't gone down to look and see what it is yet, whether it's zombies or... I'm hoping it's skeletons. Be nice to have a make one of those um, little mob farms for skeletons and have a bunch of uh, good supply of bone meal and arrows. So I think what I'll do is, like with the other one, I'll you know fix up the houses. I'll make a uh, a forge. This uh, village also does not have a forge, and I will fence it up a little. And let's see, I put these big markers out so that I could find it um, while I'm, you know, out running around. And there's the jungle. And way off that way is the other village. So, yeah, so I will fix it up, put some more buildings in, maybe connect some of these houses and make them bigger or just build onto them. Um you know, build a forge, and I'm also going to build a railway station right here, so that I'm going to have it so that the build, you know, the train station or depots right here, and the train will come in here and let everybody off. Um, let's see, and um, let's go this way. So yeah, I'll just have the tracks kind of see all these glowstones I put down. That's to mark my trail so I won't get lost. I have the tracks come out over the water. I may cut them through there because technically um, I think the village is kind of off. Yeah, this way. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll um, run the track like this, run it through there, over to there. See, there's one of my glowstone. Yeah, let's see. So you can see it is quite a quite a ways away. And there's the village. Ooh. So this is the original village. And I did some uh let me get over here. So I did uh build them a little kind of like a little farm area. There's the cows. I love the pigs. Oh, come back. No. Oh, what do they, they look like? Uh, oh, 
cows are escaping. They look like those, are they the Ewoks that look like this? The little teddy bear looking guys from Star Wars, that's a chicken. Um, cow, I don't know how you got out there, they must have jumped on top of each other. He jumped on a chicken and got over the fence. Um, so I also decorated the houses, I put some paintings up in the houses. There's a, looks like a Jedi maybe. Hello. Oh, here's the forge I built. And I forgot to put an extra. I need to fix it. This is right here is supposed to be another row of cobblestone because the villagers sometimes will jump up here and be in that corner back there. And then I'll come back later and they'll, like this one guy, he stood there for a couple of days and then all of a sudden he disappeared. I have a feeling he jumped in the lava in the lava so I need to fix that and I'm gonna have to go ahead and, and uh, put a um, you know a row of cobblestone there which means taking those bars out so that they can't get up in there and and burn themselves to death and I came in here and put a chest work table at my little window so I could see what the lava was doing uh, lots of windows to see what's going on in the world. See my lava pool there. And the villagers like to come hang out in here at night. It's always full of people at night. Uh, let's see what else did I do. Oh, I built this house over here. Another small house. Uh, oops, I put lots of windows. I like to put lots of windows. I put these windows up high. And they like to pile up in this house, too, I tell you. And then, what else did I do? Let's see. Oh, I made this house into, like, a duplex. Well, not, not really a duplex, but, I mean, it's got two entrances. But it connects inside. Oh, I see they finally moved in. Yeah. There's some pictures, a little glowstone in the kitchen, a stove and the countertops, <laughs> a little sitting area here. Uh, this area is like the mud room, the workbench and the chest. And then this house here oops, has the, um, the ladders so they can get up and check for bad guys. Yeah, they they weren't living in these two houses when they were just sep you know separate houses, and I don't know why. Maybe because they were too small. Who knows? Um, okay, let's see. And then let's see. This was my house. If you remember, I was telling you I had moved into this house here, and then they all started just piling in the house. I could never get in there. So I ended up moving over to this house because it was empty. So I moved in, I decorated it, and wouldn't you know it, they started hanging out in here. So, um, But usually only a couple of them come in here. They don't pile up like they do in the other house. So I guess it's not too bad. Got my little cake. Let's see, this is the stove stove, double stove, a workbench, a little bench to sit on, some flowers for decoration, more pictures, hmm. and then down here I went ahead and put in a brewing station, um, another chest, and a 